Hello, my name is Abe. Welcome back to the darkest dungeon. Ruins? Mm, the thing from the stars roams here. But let's see if we can't destroy these ruins, shall we? You don't have solemnity active? So some solemn solemnification. Uh why don't you buff your attack and stress? Your set. Your set. Your set. Everyone's set that needs to be set. Let's do this. Ruins. Medium mission. I just want to bring out a lot of gold on this mission. Okay, I'm out of money. But I would like... You know what? Screw the holy water. Let's just take an extra key. A bunch of food. A couple of shovels. Do we really need three? Probably not. Maybe we can take... Two holy waters, two skeleton keys. There's a lot of curios down here that, that benefit from holy water. And we can dump the anti-venom and medicinal herbs early. Oh lord, let's do this. Let's do this. I've never seen the thing. I've never fought the thing. I hope we don't get the thing. But if we get the thing, we'll the deal with the thing. Back. And what better place to Complete 100% of room battles. Of I do see a cur mind. curio. I'm very tempted. To at least go open the bag. What's in the bag, man? What's in the bag? Dude, two onyx. That's pretty good. And then we picked up like the same amount of of stress we would going to the room, turning around and coming back anyway. So it's all good. More food. I'll accept it. Another shovel. I only brought two. I don't think we're going to need more than two, but it's still nice to have it. Oh, I got scared for a minute. <laughs> Any fight could be the one. So cultist acolyte. We could stun with the Vestal and bleed with the Hellion. Or we could just toss like a play grenade to get some additional damage done. And I'm gonna do that because we don't have a lot of stress healers, but we have a great healer in the Vestal. So we wanna kill this unit basically ASAP. And they are dead, so we'll stun you. The stun is penalized thanks to having the Sacred Scroll, but it is still probably a good roll of the dice. And if we get lucky, We'll get the stun out anyways. Man, I love the DOT from these uh, from these plague doctors. It's so good. I already have a full inventory. Perfect. It's exactly where I want to be. No scouting. We do. Yeah. Okay. We do have the ancestors map. We just got a little bit unlucky there. And this is why you bring some holy waters and shovels. I believe this is like a damage buff, and I gotta admit, if I want a damage buff, it's probably probably gonna be on the Hellion, because they can actually hit the back line. So we'll do that. Damage until camp. Minus 25% bleed resist for the quest. Why? <laughs> you you bled yourself flagellating? Even the I'm not paying attention to like quest buffs and passage. debuffs. But to be fair. They don't show up anywhere. You have to mouse over it in order to see it show up. Like, bleed minus 25% town. It would be nice if it was shown up as, like, you know, modifiers, or it showed up as, like, a temporary quirk or something, but whatever. Otherwise, you gotta pay attention? I don't like paying attention. No scouting. It makes me scared, honestly, because of things like traps. Ambushed by foul invention. Don't... Ah, you know what? A map. I know you can get maps from bookcases. I know you can also get... Um, journal entries from bookcases. Is that literally a full map? Oh my lord, I should be interacting with bookcases more often. That was great. We could... The only thing that that does not show us is if there's a secret room. So we still want to have like high torch light and whatnot, but that was a that was a great little roll of the dice. And we also know if we can get rid of shovels, we can get rid of shovels. So let's not worry about this one shovel we have. Packs laden with loot are often low on supplies. Might as well eat the food. 
Yeah, that was a that was a great little roll of the RNG dice there. I'm glad I decided to go for it. You know what? 80%. Try to get you some stress relief. Now, stacks of books I don't think are very good, so I'm just going to leave them. But bookcases, I've learned my lesson. MSB Cole says, this game has secret rooms? What? They do. This game does have secret rooms. Six hundred and twenty-five gold. We probably don't need the anti-venom. So we'll take the gold. We probably don't need the torch. So we'll take the, the is lit. citrine. The is clear. We have a lot of gems, which I don't like. Only the strength to follow Emeralds, it. onyx, jade, citrine. Ah, uh, we probably don't need anti-venom. I don't know anything down here that utilizes it or inflicts it. Maybe the the weirdo roaming boss does, but you know what? I don't care. Alchemy Lab. I do believe that this is medicinal herbs, and I think we get gems out of it. More money, which is good too. We've done most of the mission and only got into one combat, so here's one. Stacks of books are basically always bad, says Milk Jug. I remember books being bad, but I just, I never realized that the bookshelves can give you that, like, sweet mapping for the entire mission, which is pretty good. I I like that. <laughs> you do have damage and stress be human, which is good for the acolyte. Confidence surges as the dun, enemy dun, 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 dun. Honey PDW says, since those stacks of books are so bad, why don't we burn the books so no one can get their hands on it? If only it was that easy. <laughs> if only it was that easy. Compassion is a rarity in the fevered pitch of battle. I... yeah, just chop. That could be a stun. It's actually pretty annoying because the leper can't do anything from this position, but I don't think the fight's gonna really last that long for that to be that relevant. It is just a little bit annoying. We could move the Vestal, but honestly, I mean, we're getting some good crits and hits here. But yeah, honestly, I don't think the Leper is going to be here long enough, let's say. We're going to be finishing the mission in like two seconds. I mean, he's definitely not going to get another attack if we have to move him. And he's definitely not getting another attack because he's dead. Good crit heal. You have 27 stress? Why do you have that much stress? What happened to you? <laughs> I didn't realize we could use this from any position. Lower your dodge, increase your damage taken. Hell yeah. Can't you use anti-venom on these? Not like there's a reason to, but I thought maybe you could. Uh, I mean, we have plenty of keys, so we don't need antivenom for ch chests if we get them. Guess we'll keep the busts. Holy water, I'll hold on to for a little while longer. You never know. Ah, oh, you know I should have gotten rid of the citrine. Fusilier, cutthroat, cutthroat. Could stun him, but we have a healer. I'd rather just... Hopefully ice this guy. He's got one HP. I will let the Vestal deal with that. This has a higher chance of landing and we only need to hit for one. Now, can we kill you with a hue? It has to do eight damage. Well, Definitely an overkill with the Blight, but I just didn't want to risk having two enemies live. And I think that's perfectly understandable. Wow! Five stress? Her stress is so good. <laughs> negative, uh, 20, negative 60% stress. That's insane. We got crit and we got five stress. <laughs> We crit them, and we recover... Oh, only three, but... 
still. That's that's so good. <laughs> Remind yourself that overconfidence uh, is a slow and insidious killer. Bleed resist. Bleed resist. For two rounds? Oh, one of those is a quest debuff. It just doesn't show it. I was wondering. Now, this is an interesting one. You can purge negative quirks here. So, diurnal. Guilty Conscience is a good one to remove. Let's see if we can do this on the Vestal. We could also use Holy Water for stress relief. I'd rather purge a quirk if at all possible. That's stress, but that's still fine. Should've probably used a torch beforehand for a little bit of, you know, stress protection, but I don't mind. We can remove her stress on camping. Oh no. Oh no. I need you to attack. At least you resisted the stun. Oh no. At least you dodged, good lord. Uh, yeah, these guys are like horrible. Let's, let's stun them and get them dealt with. <laughs> 12 to 23, I think this is a hue. Oh, what? All right, you can get the job done, I guess. GT Quark, my Hellion. So likely to get a kill, but I really want to just toss out as much health as possible. As the so there's another one down. We still have a mark out there, which is very dangerous. But oh, 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 oh. hey, the pit. Quark, the Spider Slayer. Compassion is a rarity in the fever picture. Predacus is getting surprised by four spiders gets my heart racing. Yeah, that's like a good way to die if you really want to die in Darkest Dungeon. Executed that's a 34 crit ability. from EDUCOM. He's back from the previous campaign. He finally made his way here and is starting success. the crit train. Fantastic. We also have a full pile of gold. And a chest. Um Right, we can get rid of shovels. Why am I not getting rid of shovels? Wealth beyond measure. Yeah, just Awarded dump it. To the brave and and the uh, I'll take alike. the crest. 200 gold is like, whatever. We could camp, get some buffs going, heal the stress. I actually like that idea. Let's camp. We have plenty of food too, so this is a good way of reducing one stack. And vulnerable. Rats in a maze. Now you don't have prevent nighttime ambush. I guess I, I a forgot to get it and b thought it might be a little bit too expensive. But it also doesn't really heal you. It doesn't do anything. It just it's four rest points for prevent ambush. So I guess what we're gonna do instead is we're not gonna revel. We're gonna reduce your stress. We're gonna buff ack and dodge, and we're gonna buff your ack and crit. So your Ack and Crit goes up. Ack and Dodge. Plus 10 Ack for the Trinket. You know, we'll give the uh, Ack and Dodge to the Leper. We really want him to hit. Then we will probably encourage We could pep talk, pep talk. Well, actually, we don't have two pep talks. <laughs> so we could encourage and, uh, like, sharpen spear, which is pretty much all we can we can do with the rest of our time. Could buff the accuracy of the Plague Doctor, which might be better. What are you doing, crit? You know what? Buff your crit. All companions plus stress? No, thank you. Now, hopefully we don't get ambushed. The we did not get ambushed! Hell yeah! Star is born. We got some nice buffs going on too now. And a lot more accuracy. Oh, of course you're gonna go for Brendan Toad. Brendan the Toad. But hey, at least since you move, now I can just let the uh, Hellion kick your ass. <clears throat> you did this to yourself!
Viridi says, preventing nighttime ambush is only necessary if you're doing bad. No! I completely disagree. Preventing nighttime ambush is very important, especially if you have people who don't function from positions. Like if my plague doctor moved to the front, I'd be really sad. If my leper moved to the back, I'd be really sad. So there are reasons why you might want to prevent nighttime ambush, but I guess you would probably do like a pre-shuffle to help prevent that. Which I have not done. I maybe should do, but it's a little too late. Advantage. Give them no quarter. It's also very annoying if you get ambushed and then you get like crit three times and then you've just wasted all of your like stress reduction. Because that, that's money, you know? If you get crit... If you get stressed out by like bone courtiers and the the female the uh, uh, cultists, that's annoying. That's cash. No, 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 no. I don't want to. I don't want to burn through my cash having to do like stress relief. I guess you should probably go for the kill. Eradicated. Dun 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 dun. We have so much food. I don't want this much food. Pack us a map inside. Well, we've already dealt with our mapping earlier, so... Thank you, bookshelf. Get the bank and never think about money. I don't like the bank. I don't like that it completely breaks the game's economy. Like, in my eyes... Good crit. In my eyes, if you're rolling bank, why roll antiquarians ever? There's no point, right? This expedition is doomed. No, you're just the only one saying that. This expedition is just fine. <laughs> um, I guess you can just do like a stun. In radiance. In radiance. I like Vestal, 65 stress. Other three party members combined, one stress. <laughs> oh lord. Yeah, Brendan Toad in chat's like, why are they all going for me? I guess. They just think that you could, you know, deserve a little bit of stress, maybe. I don't know. Maybe they think that you deserve it. Maybe they think that you you need to prove yourself. Become virtuous. The stalwart Vestal. These nightmarish creatures can be fed. Well, we, do, we don't need the food. Beaten. We'll also open the sarcophagus. At least that all stacks together. Um, how many how many resources do we have remaining? We still have a holy water, a key, and some torches. The torches are gonna go next after these upcoming battles, and then you know we'll get whatever we can from this curio in this hallway, and then that'll be it. Now it must be carried home. We can probably even dump the torches like literally right now if we had to. The light, the promise of safety. Dun, 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 dun. Because they're surprised, I like the play grenade. I also like getting rid of the stress dealers to help our uh, poor, poor Vestal. <laughs> I also like the idea of stunning this guy. He dodged it. But you know what? Can't dodge this. Told you. The slow death, unforeseen, unforgiving. Oh come on! They really are going for Toad. Oh my God! <laughs> Alrighty then. Uh. Well. Guess we'll put you on a clock. <laughs> and, uh... I don't know. I kind of want to have an opportunity to heal, so... Slowly. They go Gently. for stress. Yeah, but why did this they crit twice? <laughs> taken. I guess she, like... Oh my god. That, I knew it. I knew it. We have to do the rest of this combat, too. Like, we have to do this room to finish the run, the fight. They just love critting the, the 
pardon the language, they love critting the shit out of Toad, my Vestal, though, and I don't know why. Well, you know what? <laughs> I love that Toad is in chat, just going, Success. what so is going empty. on? <laughs> or is it merely uh, yeah, it kind of sucks, I'm sorry. Um, two anti-venom is kind of okay. At least I do have the food, but you do have 98 stress! You gained 50 stress and 3 crits from one encounter. Good god. Um, we don't need this. We don't need this. I don't know why I'm even thinking about it. Like, just move on. Stuff your face! We have to do this mission. Or we have to do this room. We're not done. Tempting Goblet. Hey, at least it's not the Vestal. <laughs> also. You know? I think we need to buy some time. At least they're healed up now. Just don't... I mean, honestly, if you get crit one more time... Oh my god, that's... So in the in the past five attacks, we've been crit four times. I'd just like to point that out. Five attacks, four crits. That's kind of a little three dick donk donkulous. Also, that was very unfortunate that that didn't kill anybody. But you know what? Now you're dead, and you're not gonna crit my vestal. Should probably go for you. Nasty dodge. Another abomination. I'm surprised that the leper managed to go before they did. So they're dead now. You have stun resist. Our chance of landing it is like 30%. So honestly, heal up. Please, no more crits. I don't mind this. I really don't. I'm sorry, but I don't mind this. We're done after this combat anyways, but you're powerful! Holy power courses through me. Hell yeah. So in addition to 25% resistances to like most things, except death blow resists and traps, uh, powerful also gives a small damage buff 25% and you will increase the damage of the other people in the party randomly. Very good. Very good. Now, this is a holy boon, use it wisely. Plus 15% damage from everybody for four freaking rounds. A momentary abatement. And their stress is now 41. That's pretty good. I'm so surprised that our leper went before the Bone Arbalist, but now it's just Bayonet Jab. And I'll be honest with you, now I have a, a plan. And my plan right now is what if we explore the mission and try to force the thing to spawn? Do you think that's a wise idea? Because we could do it. Okay, you're dead. I was wanting a heal, but that's fine. Because now we're done with the mission. Uh, we can probably, at this point, dump, like, the key. We might find a secret room, though. Ah, uh, you know what? We'll hold on to it. We're gonna continue adventuring, and then we have this, which is damage, I believe. Maybe if you use holy water on it? I can't remember. Um, but maybe we'll do this. No effect. All right. Why don't you just interact with it? Well, no, no, no. We'll have the... L we'll have the leper interact with it. I, I can't forget... I don't, I should say, I don't remember if this gives you a buff or if it gives you, like, Ruins Explorer. Ruins Tactician, okay. So more damage in the Ruins is very good. And yeah, I, I honestly think that, oh, this is what you want the Holy Water for, damn it. I honestly think that maybe at this point, we have food to, to survive starvation. What if we just keep opening and closing doors and then keep walking through them until we get a uh, combat to spawn and try to get some more resources slash 
a fight against the thing, considering we have a, a powerful Vestal, full health. We still have access to food, a key. There's a battle, let's go for it. You have 85%. And if we get holy water, we can come back and dump the holy water into that, uh, that ashen urn. Dun, 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 dun. Brendan Toad says, I ain't dying this fast, I don't care. I realize I have plot protection. Ah, that's why you're powerful. You know? Makes sense. I can believe it. I can understand it. You have plot armor. Ah, uh, I mean, this is, this is high damage. I guess you're- oh, okay. Heck, maybe if we just do combats and we crit a whole bunch, we'll actually reduce our stress. You never know. <laughs> Alright, you can't hit anything, but you're still okay, in my book. Oh my god. I keep doing the leper hues, and they keep leaving the enemies with like one or two HP. Oh my lord! The stun's unfortunate, but... The spitter in the back is already dead. These guys have well, decent speed, but they can only really, you know, do a tiny bit of damage, so it's not that bad. We can recover stress on the leper. Can't do anything about the blight, but it's not that much damage. The wounds of war can be healed. Can be healed. I was hoping for a crit. Well, we did get a shovel. We also got gold. So too will We don't need the key anymore. Okay. I mean, th this is our life now. As the light gains purchase, we wander the halls looking for more battles. Made clear. So I'm. I don't know if doing this could spawn the thing from beyond the stars. Like, I really, I don't know. It might only spawn statically in the map when it spawns. Uh, it might not spawn in randomly through repeated hallway encounters. But even if it doesn't spawn, by doing this, we do have the opportunity to get some more money. So it's like, absolutely not not worth it. <laughs> Toad's going to bed. Oh, you don't want... This is a holy boon. You don't want to... You don't want to watch yourself? Maybe kill the thing from beyond the stars? If it can spawn, because I don't know if it can spawn. I kind of hope it can. It seems like a good opportunity to, you know, be doing this. Masterfully what a crit. Executed. Lowered your own stress. Dude, I mean, if we keep doing this mission, we might end up reducing our stress. Maybe not to zero, but enough that we don't have to pay for it. On the Vestal, anyways. I mean, we went from 100 to 38 so far. You haven't moved yet. I'll kill ya. Seize this momentum! Seize this momentum! To the task's end. I mean, we could get rid of the torches. We don't need it. We don't need them. Drew Breaker says, where am I? Use me. You are a Plague Doctor, I believe, that is... Are you a Plague Doctor, Twig Breaker? I think you're a Plague Doctor. And I will use you at some point, but we gotta, we gotta use cabbage boxes on this one. And I'm, I'm glad we used them, because... It's been a it's been a good mission. All right, battle. We expected some starvation prompts. This might be our last battle in that case, so we don't risk you know insane stress. And it's not the thing, so yeah, I guess I mean it, it, it can probably spawn. Well, I don't know. I don't know. Our actions have pleased the sacred flame. Thank you for the damage buff. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe it doesn't work at all, and uh, it, you can only get it from like the standard spawn encounters already that already exist on the map. You know, you can't get it from going down hallways over and over again. 
precision and power. Good crit. In which case, then we should leave after this combat encounter and then get all of our rewards home because we got a lot of money. Four stacks of gold, two sapphires, some random onyx and emeralds, a bunch of uh, crests and whatnot. It's been a good day. It's been a good day indeed. Good. Very glad I went for the Blight as well as the hit from the uh, the Hellion there. And you know what? There's a little bit more stress relief for you. Oh, you didn't get this. Sometimes you don't get stress relief on a kill and it's a little annoying. Although you're gonna get crit again. Oh, if only it came true. I would have been amused at the very least. You know what? Five stress on the lepers, fine. The only one who liked that was the Vestal. They're like, oh, that's a good crit. Triumphant yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna leave. A dizzying fall. I got enough money from that. More bones return to rest. 11 Devils grand, plus a bunch earth. of random heirlooms and cabbage boxes are now level three. So now we only have one level two Plague Doctor who we're gonna use. Feather weather, fair weather fighter is annoying on a uh, not physical damage unit, although you could use the, the stab, but even that's got a lot of bleed on it. Bloodthirsty needs to be removed. Kobefo dud hitter is like whatever. Eagle Eye literally doesn't matter. So really this is just garbage except for Bloodthirsty, which is utter garbage. Like, completely, completely, completely horrible. And we gotta remove it. To some. A sanguine remove Nervous Bleeder, removed a bunch of stress. We have 16 grand. And we've unlocked the Sonorous Prophet. Oh boy. Well, I guess we're probably gonna do the Sonorous Prophet. Because I'll be honest with you. I kinda like the Focus Ring. Plus Ack and Crit. Minus dodge, ack and crit would be very nice on a leper. And we have nothing else that improves accuracy so far, even on a, a, a sniper. This will be nice. So we're gonna go fight the Sonorous Prophet, which means... Where are you, where are you? There you are, man at arms is gonna go out on this mission. I think I'm also gonna bring along, if I sort my class here, Oh, I can't bring along a shield breaker. Because I've been thinking about this mission, by the way. The Sonar's Prophet can do a lot of damage. The guard on the Man at Arms and the protection is invaluable. However, the shield breaker also has an ability to grant herself a, a perfect block. Serpent Sway, two blocks, the Aegis Scales, whatever they uh, they are used to grant you that ability. It's very nice because you can use both the Shield Breaker and the Man at Arms shuffling positions, like with Rampart and the Shield Breaker just moving all the ways, all the ways anyways. Um, you can use those to block the rocks that fall and then you don't take that much damage from it. And that's a very good strategy that I was thinking about employing here, but I don't have a Shield Breaker for this purpose. So I'm sad. There's not even a Shield Breaker here. So you know what? <laughs> We'll, we'll find another way to make this work. We could bring along... No, you can't. You are over-leveled. Uh, uh, okay, we're gonna bring along... Probably our risk taker. Raz 2014. Good damage, the dodge doesn't matter if we protect you. You can mark and then we can do a lot of damage. Uh, I think I would also like to have a grave robber. Minus five dodge is very bad though, but we can actually improve your dar- your darge. We can improve your darge kind of a lot there. You can improve your dodge kind of a lot with skills and then I, I also kind of like the Highwayman for, for like shuffling and maneuvering, but I don't like it as much without having access to the uh, Shield Breaker, because I really wanted to have you move yourself up to the front to block shots with the with Serpent's Way. So who are we gonna have in the front? 
We could bring along a occultist for a little bit of mark potential, because right now we only have the arbalist with a mark. The grave robber can synergize with it with the throne dagger ability, but otherwise does not have synergy. Also, what is the highest dodge chance we can create? It's gonna be plus 15, plus, where's your, uh, your foot? Plus another plus 12. So you can have 37 dodge, which is pretty good. Bolster can give us even more dodge, and we can give our party even more dodge with tactics. So we might want to have the Grave Robber be the dodgy one. Lady Risu with high dodge trinkets and accuracy skills to synergize with the mark can position themselves. Even with Shadow Fade, they can maneuver into a position where they're more likely to dodge. They can posi position themselves into a position where they can just dodge the rocks. And this might be what we want to try to go for. So if we roll this in the front position, we could bring along someone else, an antiquarian, which actually is not that bad of an idea. I hate to say it, but like the force dodge or the force mark guard, if they get targeted, they could just use this on the grave robber. And heck, the Grave Robber could even just like constantly spam Shadow Fade to get to get even more dodge. Shadow Fade and then Force Guard it with the Antiquarian over and over again and um, buff dodge. Is this really what my party is gonna be? <laughs> um, I mean, it kind of kind of looks like it would work. We would lose a little bit of damage output by not being able to bring along a a highwayman. But they're fragile. And they're not that good in the ruins anyway, so I'd probably want to replace them with someone else. I do like Hellions for this too, because of their uh, Iron Swan and If It Bleed combo. I don't like Lepers, I don't like Crusaders for this. Uh, abominations I don't use for this. They don't have that high of a dodge anyways. Well, I mean, their dodge is 13, but the only reason her dodge is lower is because of Clumsy. So I think maybe we'll give this a shot. We'll buff the heck out of the Antiquarian and the Man-at-Arms. The Grave Robber will have the most dodge we can give them. And the Man-at-Arms will have more base protection because they're going to need it. And maybe even more dodge. Might as well. More speed, more dodge. It's all good. You can have the damage. And we also have an ac Oh wait, we're gonna go for the accuracy ring. <laughs> Forgot. We could buff the healing skills of our antiquarian. We don't have the the weird antiquarian candle that buffs it even further. We have Shirugan's charm, but you know what? I'd actually rather give you the map. It also give you like a lot of health, but I think this is fine. So you have dodge, you have protection over dodge, but you also have damage and speed, which is fine. In case we can't give you dodge, I would like to give you dodge. Five armor, negative 10 quirk. That gives you three total. So this would give you Plus seven, this would give you 10 total dodge. It's probably not worth it, especially considering, oh, you know what? Especially considering we can get stunned here. We might not want to have dodge cloaks, camouflage cloaks. Still think it's worth going for, even on the grave robber. They can, in theory, dodge the stun too. So we'll, we'll work on that, we'll work it in. Um, okay. So Arbalist, if, if we say that we don't need to worry about dodging, like if we say that, oh, hey, you're just going to be guarded the entire time, we can keep your dodge at zero. We'll just make sure to, to worry about you. Oh, dude, Antiquarian Marbles plus 10 dodge. You know what? There you go. Plus healing skills plus 10 dodge. So you are 
kind of dodgy on yourself if you have to take a hit via rocks, you know, whatever. Now you have a lot of stress, but also a lot of trap and scouting. A lot of dodge and ranged accuracy. And you are just going to be doing a lot of guarding and maybe reposting. And then the antiquarian is going to be doing more dodging. Giving us more dodge. I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know, but like I kind of, kind of like it. I think like it could work. I really don't like it, but I kind of like it. Let's make sure that we upgrade everyone. This is going to be a uh, a boss fight after all. Could upgrade the furnace for a little bit lower prices. And you know what? How many do we need? Seven. For a few paintings. We'll make these upgrades a little bit cheaper. And we'll upgrade skills too. Oh, this might get a little expensive. Bellow, minus dodge, minus speed on the enemy. Doesn't matter. Crush doesn't really matter because we can just use Retribution and Rampart. Command. Bolster. One companion plus accuracy and speed. All companions plus damage. Possible plus crit. What are we going to do for camping? Do we have someone that can prevent nighttime ambush? No. All right, well, we're going to get ambushed. So with 12 respite points, we're going to give everyone dodge. Maybe damage too. We should give everyone damage and crit probably. Weapons practice. Um, here, 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 here. Oh, there it is. Where'd you go? There you are. Good lord. Okay, weapons practice. So that's uh, eight points of our respite. What else are we going to divvy out? Don't really need to worry about stress, I don't think. Don't need to worry about supply items. Probably restring crossbow. So that's 11. So that's good enough. Okay. This will be interesting. <laughs> This will be very interesting. I'm kind of kind of curious to see how this is going to pan out. Uh but we'll make it work. We'll make it work. I'm going to give you a uh, bola instead of the rallying flare, but I'll probably change this for the boss fight. It's Aquarian. Your stab, your guard and your dodge need to be upgraded. Grave Robber. Those two are the important ones. And you are already set. We have five grand, that's just barely enough for a mission. And finally, can we get rid of anything? You know what, Camper's Helmet. Oh, I don't, I, I like to, you know, complete my collection. I don't want to get rid of anything that I have, a, you know, no duplicates of, we'll get rid of that. There you go, Seven, oh wait, you know what? We have two wounding helmets? How the heck did that happen? That's 3,000 gold right there. Game's holding out on me. Please get rid of the yips. And then sort by stress. Did you have anything that needed, needed removal? Yes, you did. I like getting rid of the, uh, the quirks first because it means I can save my money for another bit. All right. So we're gonna defeat the Sonorous Prophet on our next mission. For those of you on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more. Check me out on Twitch for when I go live. Support me on Twitch, Patreon, and Streamlabs. And I hope to see you here again for the next mission in the darkest dungeon.